Hey guys, so I have this lamp here that I just bought at a garage sale. It looks very kind of oldish and dirty. I'm gonna clean it. Yeah, I'm gonna clean it. <laughs> and it's sort of like Egyptian-ish style. So what I'm gonna do is I have the top part right there. That's like been sanded down. It's plastic and it looks like, like crap. And I'm gonna try pouring on that. And since it's sort of Egyptian stylish, I'm feeling these colors here. And I'm probably going to be needing a lot of paint. So I'm going in like yellow, red, and brownish metallic tones. And um, let's see if this... Oh, I'm going to use some black too. So let's see if this is going to work out. I'm going to set myself up here, prepare all of these, and I am going for this. Alright you guys, so this um, was the best camera setup I can do and I work with what I have so I apologize if you don't see everything so well but I'll show you afterwards. So I want I kept my paints thicker than usual and I'm going to do a few cups. I have no idea what I'm doing actually so let's just uh, roll with it. And I'm hoping I have extra paint because if I do, I'm going to do a, a pour with these colors. A ring pour because I'm so hooked. Wow, that black taking over. Okay, so I'm going to start with that. You can see already the black artist loft reacting. Okay. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to fix the edges with my finger. Now this is for me, for my home. So like, who cares if it's perfect, right? I think I'm just going to start by... Oh, damn. Okay, that's reacting really well. I'm just going to go all around to start there. That's one cup done. Okay, I'm going to put some yellow on the bottom this time. Let's go with this gold here. Yeah, the yellow is a bit thinner. Crap. My god, I don't know if you can see. Wow, this is so interesting. Let me just grab this here. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna finish it up. Okay. So I did like the red a lot. Man, I don't, I'm not going to have paint left over, I don't think. Wow, I hope I have enough paint actually.
Holy crap. Sorry for that noise. Check it out. Okay, so they're still missing some there. Ooh, I'm liking that part up there. Okay. <laughs> this is totally a video that I would have needed uh, some help. Wow, I won't have enough paint for another pour. Um, okay. Just grab this one. Okay, I don't have enough paint. I think I'm just going to go with the black and the red that I have left. And I'm just going to fill up what's left here. Why not have a big blank spot there? Literally just dumping it on. There, it's all covered everywhere. Um, okay. It's probably gonna dry on there and crust a bit on the underneath, like underneath it, but I'll just scratch it off with my finger. Damn, it took all my paint. All I have is a little bit of black left. And I'm kind of, yeah, I feel like just putting some black here. Sort of giving it some uh, blank areas there. There and there. And there. I know you can't see this, but I'm giving it some negative space. Okay, I'm going to give this a few minutes to drip down and I'm going to... I'm going to show you what this looks like. Alright you guys, so I wet this out a bit and pretty much all of the effects kind of like drip down. But I'm kind of liking the, the clash of colors. And I'm just going to spray a bit of the diluted dish up here. But not everywhere. Just in certain areas to give it a bit of a... Uh, I don't know. This is my favorite part here. Super creepy. Yeah, I like that creepiness there. And I like how there's like the yellow, the red, the black, very like big contrast. So probably when I hang it up, it's gonna be this face that's gonna be towards the people. Well, that reacted a bit. It's probably going to drip down. I do like this part here too. Like all that red there. And there's a line of metallic in the middle. So yeah. There's like different parts for different tastes. 
the red, the yellow, black, and the creepiness over here. So I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to varnish it and I'm going to show you what it looks like up on my lamp. It's pretty big, seriously. All right, bye guys. All right, you guys, so I ended up not varnishing it yet, finally, because I'm thinking of giving it a, a matte varnish instead of gloss. And I'm liking it. <laughs> I think I like it on that side, like that kind of, yeah. And I was um, careful with the edges finally. I didn't just like leave it there. I put it on those pieces of paper that are there and once in a while I just lifted it up a bit so that it wouldn't stick. So the edge is actually super clean. And I couldn't help myself and I painted um, those strips black. You can see it well now, it's really I don't know, it's kind of cool this lamp, right? I do have to paint the inside, but I mean, screw that for now. Sorry, I'm showing you all my dirty home here, but it's pretty cool, right? And my cat. <laughs> all right, hope you guys like this. Have a good one.